Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Wednesday, August 11. The Secretary of Health for the State of Baja California Sur said during today's press conference of the Health Safety Committee that the number of active cases in the municipality of Los Cabos continues to drop as well as the number of active cases in the municipality of La Paz. Both municipalities showed a drop of 55% and 33% each. For this reason, Dr. Victor George Flores confirmed that as of tomorrow, both municipalities will remain at alert level 4, while Loreto, Comondú, and Mulegé will remain at level 5 of the health alert system. The head of epidemiology confirmed that the numbers of the third wave of COVID-19 cases is decreasing, as well as the number of fatalities that went from 66 to 17 this past week. In other news, after the rains from the past 48 hours in Los Cabos, personnel from the General Directorate of Public Services continues with the cleanup work of the arroyos across the municipality. At this point, the priority is to remove all the garbage that was carried by the currents, said the Director of Public Services in Los Cabos, Roberto Sandoval Montaño. And he added that the first actions that public services of Los Cabos take after heavy rains affect the municipality is to verify the conditions of the roads and start with the necessary repairs. Then they begin the cleanup of the arroyos that ran during the storm. Sandoval explained that Sofemat personnel, as well as the businesses near the beach, are already working on cleaning up the beaches while a crew from public services is removing the debris and garbage accumulated along the Salto Seco Arroyo in Cabo San Lucas. And he pointed out that most of the garbage that was dragged by the currents is mainly plastic bottles and polyesterine boxes that are used in construction. Sandoval Montaño remarked that on this occasion, the garbage didn't include as many large items as in the past because from October 2018 to date, more than 2,000 tons of heavy materials have been removed from the dry arroyos. That's all that I have for you today. Have a great evening and remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Riggs and Claudia Velo.